Hi, I'm Carrie Mears, and welcome to this week's SWLA Spotlight. We have Miss Catherine Myers here. She's a local artist, and she's going to be sharing with us her beautiful pottery and her artwork. So welcome, Miss Catherine. Thank you, Carrie. I'm really happy to be here. This is a lot of fun and a really cool place. I've been a painting artist for many years. It was a hobby. And then when I retired from air traffic control about six years ago, I took it up full time. Oh, wow. I'm really happy to be here in southwest Louisiana. I've got roots here from my parents, even though I was a tumbleweed. Um, but I live in Opelousas now. And this painting is, is one of the pieces that's going to be offered for auction in the future on this channel. It's part of my symbolic portrait series, and I call this one The Heroes. And um, this right here is a new endeavor for me. So neat. So I live on 26 acres. I'm in St. Landry Parish, which is where Opelousas is, and uh, we have a lot of clay. And sometimes it's a bane and sometimes it's a bonus. And I decided this time I wanted to try to, to do it as a bonus. And I'm a big YouTube fan of, and glad to be here on YouTube in this format. <laughs> Started going down one of those rabbit holes of primitive pottery, which is actually something I've always been interested in and was fortunate enough during my life to visit lots of really cool museums and see primitive pottery and ancient pottery. And I got the idea that I wanted to try my hand at it. Well, that involves heavy digging, and the clay is really heavy and dense. So I'm looking around on my 26 acres, and I've got all these beautiful little crawfish chimneys, right? And so I started doing some research about how deep do they actually dig their burrows, and you know, I'm a little bit of a science geek. And um, they dig down deep enough that when they're burrowing, they're pushing the soil up through the holes, you know, in the ground and creating these chimneys. And so therefore it must be clay and good clay because it's at the right depth down. Instead of me having to dig with the shovel, they're doing it. So I've done a lot of experimenting with it and I, I am a novice. I only started this recently, but these pieces right here are all from clay that the crawfish dug for me and pushed up and made their chimneys. And it's a great deal of work to process it all and to form it and to fire it. How in do my, you do that? I mean, that's so neat that you can fire well, it. Well, what I do is I go around in my little pink camo four-wheeler <laughs> and my bucket from Lowe's and I pick up all the crawfish stacks mm -hmm. and they're full of vegetation and other organic materials that don't smell so good. Right. And so I have a series of screens and colanders and I wash and wash and wash and screen it and sieve it. I do it about 15 times back and forth and that gets all of the the grass and the roots and whatever else is in Things there. Things that wouldn't fire so well. Right, exactly. <laughs> then I pour it in some plastic bins, actually old cat litter boxes and old sheets. And then I set it in the sun on, off of my back porch mm -hmm. and the sun will get all the water out. Mm -hmm. And then I knead it and I have a pond and I go around and I collect the freshwater mussel shells that the birds have yes. eaten. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, okay, so you take those mussel shells and you grind those up and you oh add that as temper to the clay. Oh my goodness. So it keeps it from cracking. Mm -hmm. so. Looking at that, it had all that going on. <laughs> so that's just to so get it smooth. ready. And then once you do that, once you get the clay in a good workable uh, situation, then you learn how to actually make these forms. So I don't use a kiln, I don't use a potter's wheel. I really am trying to, as much as I am able to, in my own way, be authentic to the primitive methods of, of doing this. And I'd, I just, I think this piece is interesting because it's really dark, right? right. Mm -hmm. It's the same clay as all of these pieces. Oh my goodness. The reason it's dark is because of the way I fired it, which meant it didn't have oxygen. I um, smothered the fire and it turned it black, which is, that is I just so think it's cool. neat. Um, so all the variation comes from the different ways of the smothering or not right. smothering. Right, and it. the imperfect 
temperature control of, of just a regular old bonfire. But anyway, wow. so I form them up and um, I try to use natural materials. There's a local artist here. She does gourds. Her name is Margaret Brinkhouse. Okay. Sweet, sweet lady and well known in this sunset wow. area. Well, I asked her if I could have some scraps of her gourds and so she supplied me with some of these and oh, I goodness. carve them in the shape that I use and I use those to shape. Oh, how and um, this actually is a shell from Biloxi, um, but I use it to scrape because it's sharp on, sharp the, on the edges. Mm -hmm. And I use this shiny oh. stone to buff them and get this shiny finish. Oh my goodness. And um, this one has wow. not actually been fired yet, but all the rest of these have. But I just thought it was so pretty. So <laughs> I wanted neat. to show it. That you're using all these natural elements to create such beautiful things. Well, <clears throat> anyway, that's my story. Um, I yes. I really love it. It's 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 elemental. It's earth and wind and fire and. Um, it's grounding, I, very grounding. It, it really awesome. is, and I appreciate the crawfish. Uh, I give them a little bit of rice <laughs> in the burrows after I collect my little Aww. chimneys. I do try to carve a little crawfish feature in each oh, one. So someday, one day, if these become uh, well-liked, they'll be able to know that I did it and where it came from. Yes, so maybe the crawfish festival next year, we can expect to see some... Crawfish nice. pottery? <laughs> Maybe that so. Would be great. Yes. Well, thank y'all so much for watching. Um, if you like what you see and you want to see more featured artists, then please like and subscribe so that you can get a notification of our next video.